guys, Corey coming to you live from Tactoys HQ again, and this video is going to be a little bit different. This one, we need to talk about the safety of gel blasters and how to handle them. So, first off, the public display of gel blasters. The first thing to note is never allow the general public to see your blaster if they aren't aware that you have it in your possession. As you guys can understand, people who aren't educated in gel blasters absolutely can mistake this for a real gun. So to keep yourself and others safe, please make sure that you are vigilant and keeping this out of the general public's sight. Next one is the transportation of your gel blasters. If you're going to be transporting your gel blaster from one place to another, at a minimum, you guys need to be wrapping your gel blaster in a towel and placing it in the boot of your car. Your best option would actually be purchasing one of our rifle bags that we have here at Tactoys and placing your blaster in there. With a rifle bag, at least you know your gel blaster is going to be safe from any damage and also it can't fall out. No matter what you choose to wrap your gel blaster in, please make sure it is in the back of your car in the boot. Next and a very important step is your safety wear. At a minimum, if you are using a gel blaster, you need to make sure that you are wearing your safety glasses. Now that doesn't mean if you're versing someone, that means in general, if you're gonna be using a gel blaster, please make sure that you are wearing your safety glasses. Taking it one step further, if you are going to be versing someone, we definitely recommend at least wearing a long sleeve shirt and long pants, but that's not essential. Another question that we get all the time is where can I use my gel blaster legally and safely? One thing you need to note before any of this is that you cannot use your gel blaster in a public space. Police and law enforcement would have absolutely no issue prosecuting you for doing something that silly. Now there's a lot of fields, especially in Queensland and there is a fair few in South Australia as well. The best way to find them is actually just going through to the Soft Ops Facebook page. They're not associated with any of the retailers, but they do bring out a weekly report where it lists all of the fields, the times and the costs and the requirements. We highly recommend going to their Facebook page so that you can keep up every single week. Now guys, this is only scratching the surface in regards to gel blaster safety. However, these are the essentials if you're going to responsibly and safely handle your gel blaster. These toys are a great deal of fun when used correctly. So let's make sure that we're doing everything outlined in this video to a T and we're gonna have this sport around for a very, very long time to come. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to reach out to us via email, live chat, or straight to our Facebook or Instagram. We're happy to help you and answer any questions that you have. This is Corey from Tactoys. Happy blasting.